here we go. We have a uber woke supreme movie coming out. It won't be coming out in theaters. It'll be coming out on the Peacock streaming service. And this movie is called They Them by Bloom House. <laughs> they Them. Oh boy. Don't we have some crazy person continuously get arrested calling themselves They Them right now? Oh yeah, Ezra Miller. But anyway, this movie, it's not about Ezra Miller. It's about Kevin Bacon, who stars as Owen Whistler, the director of a conversion therapy camp named Whistler Camp. Yes, it's a movie about the terrors of conversion therapy. And in the camp, and based on the storyline, it's about his attempts to turn LGBTQ plus teenagers straight and cisgender. Now, this is how they describe it, using that moronic term of cisgender, suggesting that your gender is assigned to you and it's not biology. Now, it states here, set over a week long session at the camp, the film focuses on the various campers led by trans and non-binary Jordan as they undergo psychological torment from the camp's programming. When an unidentified killer begins claiming victims, the kids must team up to protect each other, both from the killer and from the camp staff. <laughs> Boy, this is what Kevin Bacon is doing now. But again, you all must they all must adhere to the agenda if they want to be a part of the Hollywood mainstream. Now, uh, the person, uh, John Logan, who's directing this movie, talked about the movie, stating, quote, they, them, has been germinating within me my whole life. Let's stop right there. They, them, has been germinating within him his whole life, really? his whole life, even though they created this gender pronoun stuff not too long ago, but it's been germinating in him his whole life. But anyway, he continues, I loved horror movies as long as I can remember. I think because monsters represent the other. And as a gay kid, I felt a very powerful sense of kinship with those characters who were different, outlawed or forbidden. And I wanted to make a movie about a, a, a movie that celebrates queerness with characters that I never saw when I was growing up. When people walk away from the movie, I hope they're going to remember the incredible love that these kids have for each other and how that love needs to be protected and celebrated. Yeah, I'm sure you're all about the kids loving on each other, you pedophile or pedo advocate. Now, again, it's so funny that, sure, make a movie about uh, gay conversion therapy camps and they can be negative against them all they want but the reality is they won't let a movie like that be made in the opposite direction you know about kids that are being groomed in school with a bunch of adults trying to convert them to be a part of the alphabet sex call yeah you know, hey hey little guy you know, you know that penis thing you know you might want to make that into a vagina. You know, check out these puberty blockers. You know, you might like it. You know, you don't know. Be open-minded. You want to, want to cut off that thing? That nasty thing? Because, you know, they really like targeting boys. But also with girls. You know, you know you're, you're very playful with the boys, you know. You, you get along with them well. You, you're able to play sports with them and everything. You know, you might be lesbian or you actually might be a boy. You, know, you ever wondered what it was like to have a penis? You know, that sort of thing. That's creepy. That's horror. And that's actually happening right now in schools and through uh, various TV and movie programming. But they will never make that movie, but they will make this movie. And again, that's the reason why you need to have an alternative to Hollywood. Because if they wanted to 
see a movie that's about inclusion and diversity in an alternative media, let's say something like a Daily Wire, then I would be down for making that. But they sure as heck wouldn't like the type of movie that I would be making that includes the diversity and inclusion that they want. Because I would be given a honest portrayal, especially something that's happening now about, again, these various institutions trying to convert kids into the alphabet sex cult. But again, this movie isn't coming out in theaters. It's coming out on a streaming service where it doesn't have to be successful at all. All it has to do is just exist. Be there so it can be something that other people point to as some sort of reference. And again, some people will watch it and it'll be promoting an agenda to them that they're more than likely are in alignment with. But yeah, this is a horrible piece of garbage. And the only way I could watch anything like this is if I was being paid to watch it. <laughs> but outside of that, I won't, I won't be going nowhere near this crap. Now, this director of this garbage woke fest, apparently he wrote the script for Gladiator, The Aviator, and Hugo. So he has done some quality stuff. Now, I haven't seen Hugo, but I've seen Gladiator and The Aviator, and they're both two quality films. But again, this is the garbage that he's now making. A movie called They, Them. Kind of reminds me of that BET movie. <laughs> about race that was very on the nose about it all but again that's that's what, what i mean that's that's what's happening with all this stuff it's all on the nose not subtle whatsoever because as i stated before hollywood has always been pushing their insidious agenda but they were more clever about it before and since this guy who's directing this movie was at least a part of the script writing. I don't know if he was the script writer, but he was a part of the scripts for hit movies like Gladiator and uh, what was the other one? Uh, Gladiator and the Aviator. I mean, it just goes to show you that these people are capable. So people should never think, oh, they're just doing this because they're incapable. Yes, there's a lot of people like that, but there's a lot of people who are capable, but they're choosing to push ideology over uh, entertainment. Even to the point to where they kill their own uh, legacy and reputation as being a quality creative. But again, that's what happens when you're woke tarted. You lose all sanity and all skill. And... Uh, this movie is a prime example of that fact. And then, of course, as I stated before, they have Kevin Bacon leading the charge. And I'm sure the press junket revolving around this film is going to be fun and very quotable. Because this movie hits the Peacock streaming service August the 5th of this year. So, I look forward to the stupid things that's going to be coming out of these people's mouths as they promote this utter garbage trash and blatantly ignore institutions and groups of people who are essentially trying to get little boys to remove their penises and little girls to imagine themselves having penises while simultaneously promoting puberty blockers that physical physiologically alters a human being permanently that isn't a horror, movie, a horror film, but, you know, this conversion therapy thing is. 